Hello, and welcome back to our Lenten spiritual practice series. I hope that you have your bucket or bowl or box of sand in front of you um, with your rocks and even a pitcher of water. Um, you know, remember a couple weeks ago we poured water into our sand and talked about how a lot of times God calls us to get our hands messy in this process of, of being the church and being faithful disciples is a messy process. And because our sand got wet and messy, it also allows us to take shape. And we talked about this last week. The way God shapes us from the stuff of creation, from matter into something beautiful. And um, we talked about what form and what shape God is calling us to be. So today, once again, I invite you to dig your hands in. Get your hands messy. Start making your shape out of the sand, whatever that may be. And I invite you to think about how we can use the different shapes and all the messiness and all the stuff of the church, including you, to build a church and a community, a faith community, that um, is a testament to God's grace and God's love here on earth. Feel that sand, that messy, wet sand. Start to take shape and start to think about how your shape might fit with all the other shapes, each unique, each beautiful, each called and created by God, and how we together, as people here on earth, as faithful Christians, as members of this loving community can build something that stands as a sign of God's love on earth. So Paulo and Charlotte, I wonder, as we're building with our sand here, as you're thinking about the things we can build, in this Lenten journey, what's your uh, spiritual practice for building faith community. Hmm. So, yeah, that's such a good question. Um, for me, this uh, series that I've been preaching on journeying with Jesus has invited me into a spiritual dialogue with myself and asking, uh, how much I want to follow Christ, or mm. have I been following Christ? Am I ready to follow? Um, how am I living the truth of what I preach, of the what the gospel calls us to do? And so it has been really important for me to go back to thinking of Jesus as a friend and what it means, or a teacher, or a savior, or Lord, or way, or presence, or uh, guide, and you know, that's what, for me, enlivens my faith and my reason to be part of the church. And so, allowing me to be shaped by that gospel, but also how we invite others to be part of that molding mm. uh, how God is working. I think that's, for me, what's, you know, that has been my, my Lenten practice and my journey right now. Yeah, I think, for me, um, there's only so much I can build by myself, right? So right now, again, my lens is Sunday school always. <laughs> so with Sunday school, you know, I, I'm really pleased and excited about what I am building right now, but I am even more excited about what I can build with the help of others, right? Mm -hmm. And so I feel like um, what I'm trying to build now is a space that others want to be in. Right to build, um, to build a support system that will invite in more community, mm -hmm. invite people to to want to be where we are and build what we're building. You mm -hmm. know, um, and I think that a lot of that includes, yeah, just making space for people to come as they are, mm -hmm. and not trying to make a space and say, well, anyone who fits in this space is welcome but to make a space that is dynamic so that 
whatever shape you are, <laughs> you can fit into it, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but also, you know, making sure that each part of the structure supports the others, right? And mm -hmm. isn't taking over. I think that that's, it's really tricky. Um, but I'm, I'm hopeful. I remember, I think my first year here at ACC, we're having an activity in Hartman Hall, and one of the kids came to me and asked, do we have to use our inside uh, voice here, our indoor voice? And because if we if we don't, I'm gonna use my outdoor, my outside <laughs> voice. And what did you say to that? I said, use all voices, you know, the inside and outside, the indoors yep. and outdoors. But you're so right, inviting people into the church as a, not a place that is restrictive, but that invites right. you to open and, and yeah. experience the expansive love of God. It's right. so, and we cannot do that alone. You know, we need each other, right? And that's like what's great about working with both of you and, and being in ministry with you is that each one of us brings a different perspective, a different gift, mm -hmm. uh, a, a life experience. And it's like, it's so enriching to have um, all the, you know, our voices together here at ACC and your voice as well, you know, those of you who yeah. are joining us. Yeah. The longer I'm here, the more rewarding this job is because I get to know all of you folks. Mm -hmm. And it's not just a job where I show up and I check the boxes, right? But it's a place where I, and immersed in a community of people I know and care about and who care about me and I have more things to talk to people about right and making those social connections feeds us all um, and no one can sustain themselves long on just this is what I have to do mm -hmm. right so having the church be a place this is where I want to go because that's where my friends are. That's where my support system is. That's where it is safe to mess up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like instead of having a fear of like, all right, well, what if I do it wrong? It's uh, well, thank goodness it's church. If I do it wrong, it'll be okay. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love that image that both of you were just describing of, I guess it, it feels to me like God is this expert builder and um, it doesn't, need everyone to be the same size brick. We're not these uniform rectangles that get stacked together. It feels to me more like um, the stone walls or like this. <laughs> but I think of the way, you know, you, you yeah, see the stone, stone walls, walls all around New great, England yeah. that people grab field stones and they find a way to make it fit and they all go together. And so uh, coming to church is less of a place where you need to conform to fit in. And you can bring yourself whatever voice you have, whatever gifts you have, there's a place for it, and it will fit perfectly and beautifully in this uh, open and welcoming family of God. Going along with that, though, it's hard work to make a brick wall, or sorry, to make a stone wall, right? Oh, yeah. It's e much easier to make a brick wall than yeah. a stone wall, yeah. right? So um, sometimes we don't feel like we fit, but I think we just need to keep working with each other and looking for our place, and, you know, maybe something shifts and we don't fit in one spot anymore, but there's always another place to fit in the wall, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I well, think like we talked about last week, your shape is constantly changing, you know? You're being reshaped and reformed. So maybe where you felt like you used to fit, you gotta find a new fit. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I think... Mm -hmm. Yes. And you know, the challenge is to do it together, right? Yes. That is always the, the major challenge. And so how do we do it together, folks? How do we, um, especially after two years of COVID or of, of uh, a very unusual um, time in our lives when we were not able to be together, uh, not able to see each other as you know, we used to. And coming back can be, uh, you know, we are relearning you know, what it means to be present. And the church is reopening and we hope to see more of you back in the pews and in Sunday school and the youth program. So let's build together it's it requires all of our hands so here's my my shape and i so it's just already kind of fell apart but <laughs> it's okay andrew is your turn to put something there yeah i've got all these little shapes that i was making and they all are strange shapes and different sizes but they made quite a little pyramid in my bowl so i'll share some of these little shapes and charlotte do you have any yeah, I was uh, just taking a wall that I, my stones were tucked into, so I'm going to do something like that here where I can make a, a supporting base that can change to support any string that I try to put in it. <laughs>
Beautiful. That is one. Of course, I'm just blocking pillage. everyone else's hair. Like, it's I'm like, protecting. That's, it's that's protecting. Good. That's good. <laughs> it's like a, a barrier, a wall, you know? So it's, we're keeping everyone else safe. That's you, you know what I love about this, too? It's like, you know, it's sort of that poem that Mary Oliver said, you know, prayer doesn't have to be beautiful, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. And it doesn't have to be beautiful and perfect, mm. although we love beauty and perfection, right? But it is made with our hands um, through God's grace, um, the faith that we practice together. And that's what makes it meaningful and relevant and life transforming. Amen. Right? Yeah. And I don't think we should look for, for perfection to find beauty. You know, never, almost nothing is, is perfect, but there's beauty everywhere, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I also, what was it? Oh, yeah. This just makes me think of um, when we're doing group uh, challenges and like team building exercises and things like that. Um, at Pilgrim Lodge, there's the, the three C's, not the same ones that we've been <laughs> using for our <laughs> third trip campaign, campaign or whatever that was, but um, cooperation, communication, and caring, mm -hmm. right? And I think that's so relevant to all parts of our life where you can't do any of those without other people, right? They're not individual mm -hmm. things. Um, but if we are all cooperating, communicating, and caring about each other, we can do anything. Mm. So much. Yeah. Why are you smiling? <laughs> I love that. It's a beautiful description of, of what makes church great yeah. and, yeah. and um, why we all belong to spiritual communities, whether it's ACC or um, if you're just feeling this pull to cooperate, communicate, and care. That's God's call. Yes, I think, man. Yeah. Well, let's say a prayer and close this yeah. time together. I'll start. Dear God, we thank you for creating us and for creating all of us, all of the many, many people who come together to seek your call, to hear your word, and to try to live out your call to discipleship here on earth. We know that sometimes it is messy. We know that always it is imperfect. But with faith in you and with faith in one another, we trust that it will be good and pleasing to you, God. Well, as you see, look at my hands, dirty and messy. But look at what we've built. Um, so thanks be to God for calling us to build something here at ACC. Thanks be to God for inviting us to um, allow our lives to be shaped by the gospel of Jesus Christ. So may this challenge to let the Spirit move in us, through us, and shape our lives, carry us through this time and into our future with this hope to be a church that cooperates, that cares, that communicates. Amen. 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 Oh, by the way, we the next time we meet, we may do this in person. So um, we will have more information in the e-news. So stay tuned. Blessings. <laughs>